mission is you need light. That light is refracted and gives you the ability to be able to see images, to be able to enjoy the beauty of creation, to enjoy those that are around about you, to keep you from being handicapped, from engaging in the things of life. You need light to be able to see. And Jesus said this. He said, the problem of it is, is you don't understand I am the light, but you're blind. And so it doesn't matter. If you have eyes that are blind, the sun can shine, but you'll never enjoy the beauty of everything around you because you don't have the ability to see. And he's saying to them, you are blind. You don't see who I am. I'm asking you to walk in the light. But even when I display and tell you and show you that I am the Son of God and that the Son of Man must uh, die as, as a grain of corn on the ground to come back that many may have life, I need to be lifted up. I'm going to be crucified. You reject it. You know why you reject it? Because you're blind. You're spiritually blind. And so, even though I'm the light, I can't refract and show you things spiritually. You can't have the benefits of the light because you're spiritually blinded. Let's understand that the world doesn't understand Brother Dennis Jesus the way that we understand Jesus. Because we're no longer spiritually blind. He's removed the scales. And as He is the light, we walk in the light as He is the light. And we have fellowship with Him. And we have fellowship with other believers. And there's something that's magnificent about being spiritually able to see. But it wouldn't be until after the resurrection that their blindness would be gone and they would understand who Jesus is as the Messiah. It's interesting because even as we go on down, let me, let me just share this. I told you I was going to stop. And I, but I want to share this. The Bible says, uh, but though he had done so many miracles, yet they believed not on him. The saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which is spoken. Uh, Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord be, been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah said again, he had blinded their eyes and, the hard, and hardened their hearts, because they were in, uh, in, in the law of unbelief, here they were, the law of sowing and reaping. They, they, they've sowed unbelief. And so Isaiah is talking about uh, these things, said Isaiah, when he saw the, uh, his glory and spoke to him. Isaiah said something. He said, I want you to see the glory of the Lord like I did. Remember in Isaiah chapter number 6, the prophet is speaking about an encounter that he had when Uriah died. In the same year that King, I'm sorry, King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Isaiah saw God. He saw who uh, the Son of God was. He saw the majesty and the glory of God round about the throne. And all how he longed for others to see it, but they couldn't because they were blind. But one day, you and I are going to be able to see those who believe and those who have confessed our sins, we're going to be able to see round about the throne of God the same way that I had it in. And this is interesting. I'm going to close off with this. I promise. Verse number 42, Nevertheless, the chief, uh, the chief rulers also many believed on Him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they be put out of the synagogue. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. The Bible says here were religious leaders. They were chief rulers. And yet, Sister Tina, they believed in Jesus. They believed. They saw him. They believed. But. The but is this. They were concerned that they would be put out of, uh, out of the synagogue 
And they wanted the praise of men, the Bible says, more than the praise of God. I wonder how many are not in church. I wonder how many don't have a relationship with God. Although they believe, there's a lot of people that believe, but they never enter into a relationship that God wants with them because they're too concerned about the praise of man more than the praise of God. This is magnificent. I hope, I hope I'm bringing something to you because it's really been ministering to me. John is amazing in the way he brings his gospel out. And so all this is happening as we are about at the same place where we're celebrating Easter. And so I'm loving this. Know what's going on here. I'm going to stop here and give you the opportunity. I've gone uh, quite a while tonight. Uh, I want to give you the opportunity if you want to say something. Any thoughts? Let me just leave you with a couple of highlights. Number one, let me say this. Satan is not symbolic. He's real. Keep that in your heart and your mind. He's real. We fight a real enemy. But he already faced his judgment. There's judgment to come. And uh, also know this. I didn't say this. Listen. Those who say only God can judge me, rest assured, Jesus said that you will be judged. The church, it's not our, it's not our place to execute judgment and harshness on people. God will do that someday. But know that you will be judged. And a life that is not set free from sin and come into relationship with Jesus Christ will be judged by the lake of fire and death. But for those who allow judgment to be upon the cross and your sins taken care of there, you'll have a life everlasting. Don't expect the world to understand spiritual things. Because if they are blind, they do not have the ability to see the light of Jesus Christ and be able to have their eyes refracted by who He is and the beauty of God. They simply can't see. But like Isaiah, one day we are going to see the Lord high and lifted up. And His train is going to fill the temple. Never allow the praise of men to usurp the praise of God in your life. Many will. The struggle has not changed through the centuries. Some still seek the praise of men over the praise of God. But oh God, help us to always seek your praise more than the flattery. Let's stand to that. Thank you for being here. I think when I look at Isaiah, him being referenced is because he he's seen God. And so there was validation in his revelation of who God is. If we will seek God and see him in our life, there will be validation of our sharing with others who he is. Amen. Brother Dennis, would you close us in prayer tonight? Oh, thank you, Lord. You're blessing your faith in this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you are our I saw you know what this goes say for